Hey, this is Nicole, enemy of the show, just swinging by to be your intro this week. Unfortunately, we're going to be... Unfortunately... You alright there, man? <laughs> no. Unfortunately, this episode is going to be shorter because... Unfortunately, this is going to be a shorter episode because we're a bit rusty and wanted to actually get the episode out. It's it's already been sitting for a bit, so it might be stinky with how old the topics are. Anyway, please enjoy the best you can, and we'll try to keep a weekly schedule this time. Thanks. Welcome back to Topic Change, the only podcast with as many views as we have uh, devices in our home. This is your host, Red. What does that mean? Like, as in, only people who listen to it are us. Oh, okay. <laughs> it took you a second to figure that one out. I'm Nicole. And as always, we are here to tell you nothing. And then you say, that's pretty stupid. And then we say, yeah. And then we leave for months at a time. Mm-hmm. This is, what, the seventh time we've quit and come back? I we never quit. We never we quit. We've just been busy. Hiatus. hiatus. That's, hiatus is the kind of word that only people who have followings can use. It's a mental hiatus. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm going to have to be going on a hiatus, guys. My muse... I just lost it, man. It's crazy. Like, I, I don't know what happened to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... It's been a good minute. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been about... Uh, it's been like... I haven't even talked to you guys since like last year. It's crazy, oh bro. Oh my god. It's super crazy. What's it, when did we record that last one? Um, was it December or November? I, I don't remember. Whatever the case was. I think it was November. It's been, it's been a Christmas. It's been a New Year. We even had a Valentine's. We've even had a St. Paddy's Day. And we've uh, been there for none of it. We've been there for... Yeah, We your emotional support is gone. We There's no chance of regaining that trust with you guys. But we can try to make new memories. You know, push past all that. Maybe this time we'll be better friends. Hopefully. Or, you know, one can hope maybe we'll be better enemies this time. They always say keep your enemies closer. So what's happened in the past five months that we could talk about that's exciting? Uh, let's see. Uh, Donald Trump has imposed his wall. It just exists now. It's really crazy. Like, he just said... Hey guys, the wall's here, and it happened. Like it just exists now. It's crazy. I just heard about it on the news last night. It's just like it is there, and nobody knows what to do. Uh, Can't get into the country anymore. No oxygen could get in. Uh, So everybody, including us, is it like a dome or like? No, it's just a. It's just like a really big wall. There's no. There's no more water. Uh, We can't get any more new water because he he blocked the water. The ocean is no more. Uh, all the lakes are drying out. It's crazy. Like, I don't know how big of a good of a wall he did. Like, he must have used the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos must have helped him out. You know what I'm saying? So, did he take the trees away? or? No, no. The trees aren't getting any new oxygen. Interesting. Because the wall is up and they're sad about it. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, they're all Because they're like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're like. They can't see their friends anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's really crazy. And Orange Man bad, as we all know. Um, so, if enough people say that. The wall will disappear. So, you know, comment Orange Man bad. Uh, it'll happen. It'll be gone. Change your screen names to Orange Man bad. Orange Man bad with different numbers in front of it so we know you're, who you are. Yeah. Um, I think it'll work. It, yeah. Legally change your name to Orange Man bad. <laughs> <laughs> your first name Orange, middle name Man, last name bad. <laughs> A lot of people will be suddenly related, but it'll work. Yeah. So... What actual news has happened that's important? Uh, let's see. Most, I mean, most of the stuff that we care about is like a while, a while away. Um, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel came out. It was fine. I thought it was alright. It was a lot better than. I it was expected. better. Yeah, that's the thing. It was better than I expected. Which... I actually really enjoyed it, and I would definitely watch it again. Yeah, it's like um, it's one of those ones where it's like you wouldn't just like watch it on a whim. But you're not going to be sad to watch it if you try to marathon the series. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Which... Like, Thor 1 is kind of like a, uh, you got to watch that. The original Hulk... Like the original Hulk... I, Hulk movie yeah. Is something that you don't want to watch. You don't... Yeah, you watch but, 2008 Hulk and you're like, got to watch that again. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if, you, if you're going to watch Captain Marvel for, like, a rewatch... It's... It's, it's like, good, oh, okay. Yeah. That's a, all right. It's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there, there's a very few... There's very few outwardly bad 
Marvel movies. There's only like two or three, really. Mm-hmm. Pre Avengers, I'd say. For sure. So like, Hulk, Bulk. You know the oh, Incredible yeah, yeah, Bulk. Yeah. You're my favorite film. Um. But you know it's it's a pretty poor film, but I really love it. Speaking of Marvel. Uh, there's been like 20 Avengers trailers. Oh, yeah. Thanos. I don't know how they did this, but Thanos, he really just looks a lot younger now. Like, I don't know how they... I don't fame know why... Really, he, you know what? Fame really changed him. Yeah, fame really changed him. Like, he got some... I guess he willed some uh, some personal trainers into existence, maybe. Uh, some health care people. Maybe some beauty gurus. He just kind of like wah, wah, wah them into existence. You All know, right. like a James Charles style. Uh-oh, scissors. And, um... I really think it helps his image if he uh, has all that backup for the next movie. Because, I mean, you saw in the trailer, Thanos just has, like, an army of people behind him that he invented. Like, there's Larry... From... <laughs> from Practical Jokers? No, 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 no. Larry from uh, the Cable Company. Oh, yeah. Cable Guy. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the worst episode we've <laughs> ever really recorded. Oh, my this. God. We're not... T- any- no serious topics, and I don't know... This is awful. Um, speaking of Marvel, <laughs> my favorite character from Captain America, uh, Marvel. You remember that amazing scene in Captain Marvel where the guy's like, ha, "You're a woman," and then she says, "Nothing." She punches him. No, that's the funniest that's not, scene. That's not, that's not the scene. Okay, there is it. There, <laughs> actually, there was a scene in the movie that that was very Spoiler funny. Spoiler alert. Just, just okay. in case. People have talked about this already, but there's a scene where like a biker guy is like, got a smile for me, and it's like, whatever. Like, that was pretty cringe, I, I right? That. Pretty cringe, bro. And I thought it was funny because, not because, okay, it's funny because, haha, they're adding a little scene to like show, oh, she's a woman, and she gets oppressed. That's not why I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny because I know the only reason they added that scene was so you wouldn't feel bad when she stole his bike. Because like, they had to make him a jerk. So it's like, oh, it's okay that she her, his bike is stolen. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was just a bike on the side of the road and she stole it, it would be whatever. If it was like... But, okay, let's imagine this scene alternatively. It's a kindly old grandma's motorcycle. But, and she's like, oh, honey, I got you some cookies because I love you so much. And then she goes into the store and then she steals the bike. You would be a little bit like... Oh, uh, okay. I'm thinking Captain Marvel's a villain. I don't think I like your example. Why? I just don't. Well, you don't like a kindly old grandma with a motorcycle? I get your point, but also, I don't. What do you mean? I don't know what I was going to say. I, I just get your point, I guess. You feel like I'm saying something offensive? People might get mad, yeah. Why? Uh, just the way you're saying it. I don't know. It's like, I just, like women are dumb. No, that's, that's not why I was like, That's people, exactly that's like, the opposite of what sens- I was saying, though. Sensitive people will be offended. No, but that's what I'm, like, I'm trying to say. You're like, saying... No, 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 no. It, no. it, was, it was like a, okay, good, like, a whatever, women experience this, so we're going to put it in the movie. No, but yeah, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only reason that it was really there, besides the fact that they needed to put that in. Well, I'm not saying that's a, that's totally a thing that really happens to yeah. women, like, for real. Yes, 100%, especially in the 90s, right? The, but what I'm saying also the, saying the is most of the reason, 90% of the, of the reason, reason they could have just put a bike there on the screen and she's like, oh, I'm going to steal this. Half of the reason they did it was so that you wouldn't feel bad. The, yeah, you would empathize more with Captain Marvel more than you Carol. would. Carol. Can, oh, Miss uh, 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 Veers, as she was known at that point in the film. Oh, okay. You idiot. I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's, that's what my, because if they would have just left the bike on the side, they could have been like, oh, well, that's kind of a weird thing for a hero to do, steal a bike. Yeah, but... It would be more like an anti-hero move, you know what I'm saying? Technically... But if she's stealing it from a mean guy, then, then it's like... like that's all right, fine. cool, yeah, that's fine. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plus, it also lets Nick Fury find her, because somebody reports the bike stolen. That's true. You know what I'm saying? But so also... So it's a double-sided... Yeah, yeah. Triple-sided, because it also is like... You know, that guy's a jerk. Like, it makes you empathize for her more than the guy. Yeah, yeah, why would you ever empathize for, for give a, me a smile a jerk, guy? Yeah. Like, that guy's weird, and I hate him. But if you didn't do that, you would be like, hey, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what else happened recently that I'm going to be very quick about? Yeah. Because we've gotten a lot of complaints about this. Resident Evil 2 Remake came out. Yeah. Only thing we're going to say is, it's good, go buy it. I might make a video on it later, because I do think it needs to be talked about. Um, but I don't want to go into too much detail here. 
I did my Resident Evil video that I was working on. I think I said it like two episodes ago, which was like seven hundred months ago. Uh huh. Uh, that did eventually that did eventually come out. It's been out for about a month since as of recording this. So I think it came out really good. I like the mm-hmm. people enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought it was really professionally done. Professionally for a YouTuber. <laughs> like a, a YouTuber. YouTube entrepreneur. Yeah, dude. I'm a YouTube entrepreneur, dude. Whoa. I like gaming. Okay. Okay, I'm cutting that out. Yeah. Oh, you can only cut out your bad, <laughs> your bad part. Shut up. I hope to make more videos in the future, but I'm not sure what to make them about. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm open to anything, really. As long as I have something to say about it. So it's just, uh, like I was thinking about making something about Detroit Become Human or maybe about Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Just something, I don't want to be just video game stuff. That was never the intention. Like just because it's a Resident Evil video is the first one I made. It's not like an epic gamer channel. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I do, I think, I think a lot of times our topics are pre- Okay, I'm going to go be... ahead and change the topic here. Okay. Um, oh, are you, are you, oh, yeah, 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 because we just didn't, we, um, I forgot to tell you guys about this really epic little, uh, thing we just did. We have, uh, topic tokens now, and you can, uh, you can <laughs> expend one topic token to change the topic. This is, <laughs> Do we only get one topic token? You get token three for... topic tokens per episode. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so okay, my here's first your topic, topic token. token. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Uh... Now I'll add a little, like. Like it leveled up your okay. topic. Okay, like it sounded like a little like uh, casino sound effect. Yeah, like like uh, you know like when you go to a gas station that's not Seven Eleven or something like that. You go to a gas station it has like for some reason they have the Sonic sound. Oh yeah. That's what I'm gonna put. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Uh, the OA is a very good show. Oh yeah. It's on Netflix. Uh, part two, or season uh, two. Season two. It's called part two. On it's the called part two. Netflixing. Yeah. Oh wait. But, uh, what's it about exactly? Can you give us a quick synopsis? One minute. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna look up a synopsis on like Wikipedia.com. Uh, on Netflix actually. Netflix.com. Netflix. Forward slash. Dot. D O T. Com. A woman missing for seven years turns up at a hospital with strange scars on her back, but can't or won't reveal her, where she's been. Okay. Uh. That's, so that's the that's, that's the. That's all I'm gonna yeah, tell you because. It is, a, it is a mystery kind of show. It is, yeah. And honestly, it's better to not know what you're getting into before you watch it. Yeah, that's all that's, you need. That's what I did, and it was really confusing and really great and really... Um, here's the one spoiler I will give. Um, the girl from The Office... What's her name? Phyllis? Phyllis. Phyllis is in this film. Film? Uh, well, her, series. I'm sorry, series. Netflix series. original series. Uh, she's in the film. Yeah, her name... You know her name is Phyllis? Uh, in real life? In real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what's his name? Oscar is named Oscar as well. Yeah, and uh, Creed... It's also named Creed. And uh, guess this one. Guess what up? <laughs> yeah. Guess what up? <laughs> <laughs> guess this one out. Um, Steve Carell's name is not actually Steve Carell. Oh. It's Michael Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just named it. They, they read just changed, it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Steve Carell's a screen name. Like you know, like you know, actors have yeah. to have like a different name. Yeah, sometimes they do that. That's what they did. It's really crazy and like really cool. That like I Lady just, Gaga. I just knew that. That's not her real name. Yeah, Lady Gaga's name is actually Milton. And, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are there any other shows you would recommend currently that are on uh, uh, television or on Netflix? I don't think we watch too much television. Uh, really. Actually, I have uh, a show called Miracle Workers on TBS. Oh, yeah. Daniel uh, Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe plays an angel and Harry Potter. Steve Buscemi plays God. What a fantastic show. It is very good. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I'm dying to. Just the trailer alone is like hilarious. Uh, another really good show is The Act. The act. Which one was that one? That was the one about the the girl. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a real story. It's a, a story it's based about. Based on a true um, story. What's her name? Gypsy Rose. Yeah, I think it's is it Rose or Rhodes? It, I'm not sure. Um, she's a girl. It's based on a real story. It's about a girl who basically was lied to her whole life that she had a bunch of problems, like, like she had to be fed through a feeding tube, which wasn't something she actually had to do. Her salivary glands were removed. She didn't have spit no more. Uh, basically Which was not needed. Her, uh, her mother did a lot of horrible things to her and gave her a lot of bad things. I mean, she just messed up her like, life. Basically. Yeah, basically, she basically ruined her life. It her made mother her... Uh, did a lot of unnecessary surgeries and made her believe that she had a lot of sicknesses that weren't real. 
And all I gotta say is... Until she realizes and eventually killed her mother. Yeah. And all I gotta say is, I gotta say, the judge definitely did a, did a big oops, oopsie on that one. Because if I was the judge, I would just like give her a jail free card. Not that we're condoning Not that murder. we're condoning murder of your mother, but when your mother does that to you for your whole life... I just think that maybe she shouldn't have got 10 years. Maybe give her like 10 days. Or was it... Yeah, it was 10, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... I don't know about that. I just think it was a little overdone, but also she did kill her mother. She did kill. uh, She did murder someone, to be fair. But also she actually was. She had someone else. She had someone else do it, but someone else murdered her mom. But that guy was weird too. So no, but that's a really interesting story. Uh, It's not done yet, though. It's only the first two episodes, I think, are out. Uh, yeah, I think. uh, It's on Hulu. Yeah. Every Wednesday on Hulu, a fantastic film. We are not sponsored. I wish we were. Could you imagine if we were sponsored by the act on Hulu.com? I got really scared for a minute because I have a playing on a string and I got tied around my finger and I kept getting really tight. <laughs> That's You're why insane. I walked away for a minute. You walked away to make sure you're not da- da- dying from a string. <laughs> yeah. What a nut you are. Sorry. So that's our shows that we've been watching. Um, Ozark, also on Netflix. Ozark, yeah, that has Jason Bateman. Really good guy. Uh, what a, st- a stand-up guy he is. What a gentleman. Good fella. Uh, he plays a drug dealer. Is that a spoiler? Is it? No. That's like the first episode. I guess so. He, he, he's That's not, the whole he's point not a drug of the dealer, show. Is he? He's not a drug dealer. He's like a. He's like a. a he's like money the money launderer. Money launderer. Yes. Yeah. Not drug dealer. That's like the first scene. Is he launders <laughs> he's money? Launders money. Yeah. The first scene of the show. Jason is he Bateman laund- launders money. And um, at the laundromat. Yeah. And basically. Washes it actually washes it <laughs> yeah i thought you know what is really weird to me i yeah. always thought laundering money was like like just the part where you make it legal money you know what i'm saying like yeah. because if you have like a million dollars from drugs right mm-hmm. you're gonna be arrested instantly if you try to use it unless it, right. the government can track where it came from so like if it comes from donations or something then it's like oh yeah so-and-so guy donated ten thousand dollars to this company yeah. and that's where the money came from or like, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't realize he actually had to clean the money before he uses it. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I guess that makes sense. Like, it's not, I don't know. It just seems weird. Like, I didn't realize that was part of the process. But I guess I was not a drug dealer. You was not? I was not. <laughs> before I watched the show, I was not one. <laughs> but now, I found a new lease on life. <laughs> Speaking of things we haven't done. Uh, breaking news. Shane Dawson. Oh, has become no, no, Harvey no, no, no. Weinstein. His cat has joined the Me Too movement. Uh, it's crazy what's going on with this man. Okay, here's the thing. I'm just going to go ahead and give my opinion on this. Go ahead and give your opinion on I've that. said this about a million times, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it for the podcast. I don't, I know Shane Dawson. and I've, I've, You know him? Yeah. Personally? Yeah, no. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I, the, my buddy Shane, he would never do such a thing. No, listen. I don't know him personally. But I, I feel like over the years since basically pretty much the beginning, considering where he's at now, mm-hmm. watching him for that long and knowing how he was back then, you can tell that it was a joke. Even if it sounded sincere, you could tell. That's, just, well, that's, that's not a, like... Go ahead, he go. W- was that kind of person where you... Oh, edgy comedy. Where he, like, messes, where he wait, assaults his cats. Yes, says it. <laughs> go ahead. He says it sincerely, but... It's not sincere. It's not sincere. No, yeah, yeah. And I, I remember watching the full podcast, but uh, I don't remember it anymore. But people are saying that the the segment that they were doing was to shock the co-host. Like, he was trying to shock the co-host by saying, making up a story, basically. Yeah. But people took that singular story... Out of context. Out of context. Of course, as people do. Yeah. And what were you going to say? I was just gonna say, when you tweet something like that, <laughs> when you have to like say seventeen times in a row, "I didn't touch my cat," in that way, you did. I'm sorry. He th- he did something to his cat. I'm sorry. Like, I listen, mean, Shane, buddy, you're not listening to this at all. But if someone ever subtweets me, and sends this to you, you did something to your cat. That's all I'm saying. Like, if you put, if you, if a court case was involved. If that cat had to point to a doll, he would be pointing all over the cat doll. That's all I'm saying. 
I get your your point. But also. But also. Well, that's the thing. That kind of humor was like the main thing on dark YouTube. Dark humor was. Dark humor was everywhere. like all. That's how you made your living on YouTube before. Like I mean, you couldn't I mean not make even a living. just on YouTube on. On Anything. I mean, South Park. Still does it. Still does it even now. But and I mean, they, they don't get South Park, Family Guy, all those kind of like weird humor, like adult and dark humor, kind of were born in the early two thousands when YouTube was coming around. Like The Office. Yeah. That has very like, especially in the first season, that's the 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 humor is very like dark and like not like ooh Michael Scott kills somebody. It's no, funny. But, but I more mean, like some pretty weird like things. depressing and yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the sad. opposite side of the dark humor spectrum mm-hmm. where it's like, it's sad and that's why you laugh. Because like, ha, that's pretty <laughs> lame. Too. If that happened to me, I would probably shoot myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, cr- <laughs> yeah. like early cringe humor, kind of. Sure. Like a different kind of cringe humor. Before the word was corrupted mm-hmm. and become whatever it is now. Right. So the point I really have is... Shane Dawson definitely should be in jail. <laughs> no, no, no. The point I'm that kidding. I have, uh, the point that I'm trying to make is the fact that he acknowledges that it was stupid of him to say. The fact that he acknowledges that it was stupid of him to even be that way in the first place, to mm-hmm. make those kind of jokes. And the fact that he is trying to change and, you know, trying to be a better person and, you know, growing from that part of himself shows that he is a better person than he was and that he is changing and that he... Is really just an it's, epic guy, you know. What yeah, I mean, I'm not. No, I know, I know. You're not trying to make him to be some like messiah. Yeah. You're just saying he's been, he's he's growing. He's growing as a person, and you shouldn't and a have lot to of, shame him. Yeah. Regardless, I know that him apologizing doesn't change anything that he's done, or especially because he, what he did to his cat, obviously. I mean, like anything that he's done or hasn't done to his cat, apologizing doesn't change that. But <laughs> I don't know, like. Trying to change from that is a start. Yeah. Especially all the, like, racist and stuff, like, all that kind of stuff that he's said. And yeah, like, that was a thing. Like, there's Espe- no- He was, like, one of the champions of that kind of comedy back in the day. Yeah. Like, he would... Like, he's kind of like... He was like I-dubs, but, like, not trying to prove something. Just... Because, like, I, I don't know it. if it's really what he trying to, like... Mr. Ian he, Dubs. I don't know if he tries to prove something, but I feel like he he has some kind of hidden. Yeah, I don't think Ian Dubs is racist. He's not racist at all. He's, no, he's not he's at not. all. He's not. There's no. Because if he was, we he would have know, heard yeah. some kind of weird something. Some See, he would have been to some kind of Nazi pep rally or something, or he would. He somebody says, would have hacked him and found out he goes to like racist forums or something. Like we would know something about him. That is weird. See, and here's the thing: is that he says and does a lot of crazy stuff. Nobody really gets mad. I haven't seen a big outlash. Yeah, well, even here's another thing though, because of the and that's how it was even back in the day, like back in the early two thousands, no one got mad at that kind of stuff. No, it was just kind of the thing. But now the, the everybody's thing to like, do kind was of like paying for it now because yeah, I guess people are like, hey, this happened ten years ago. I don't want to get into like a big thing here, but I think people are a little more sensitive nowadays, a little thinner skinned than they were back. in the two thousands. Yeah, and I, I I don't know if that's because of like more shell like I don't know if it's like sheltering more like you know what I'm saying like back in the day like the most common thing to see on YouTube was like someone being mean someone making fun of somebody or a screamer video like right. that was the top three things or like a funny dog or a baby you know what I'm saying or a funny cat <laughs> or a funny oh Shane please so I don't know it just seems like it just seems like people are a little bit less inclined to dark humor to yeah to dark humor i don't know why that is i don't mind that the comedy is changing because comedy doesn't like i don't think that kind of comedy is funny anymore if you look back at a video of 2006 you hear shane dawson saying like haha uh kill people uh and then some kind of expletive and then i'm gay or something like that that's not really funny like that kind of humor isn't funny anymore not that it's like offensive i don't think it's offensive to be like haha I kill grandmas or whatever Shane Dawson used right. to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's just not funny. Like, when you're 12 years old, not to knock 12-year-olds or whatever, because, like... <laughs> anything is funny to a 12-year-old. No offense. No offense, but I was also everything a is funny to a 12-year-old. You... No matter what it, it is. It doesn't matter what. Like, it could, could be, like, insanely horrible. Like... It could be the worst thing you've ever heard. Like, oh, man, like, 
I got diagnosed with like stomach bombs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time I think about food, I just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was funny? A little bit. Well. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Like, the stupidest things will be funny. And, like, I guess, like, the internet has kind of grown up a little bit. Like, there's there's a couple eras. You know, like, early 2005 was, like, like the advent of, like, the rage face. You know, like, oh, uh, Le Epic Funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, that was, like, and that's not really, the thing. That's not it was, like, Le Epic anymore. Funny, over like 9,000. Oh. And then, like, the dark humor kind of was starting to form around 2006, 2007. Right. Then we like, like, after, like, let's say, you know, like, something, like, really horrible, like, uh, some kind of Hitler meme, <laughs> and then, like, a got a problem <laughs> <laughs> Or, like, the little, like, Neil deGrasse Tyson, like, oh, we got a badass over here. Like, yeah. That. Man, that was all over the place. See, okay, here's the thing, is I think now it's, like, a different type of dark humor. Yeah. Like, a little bit watered, but also... Watered, but also way, way heavier, worse, too. Way worse, Yeah. I think I think it isn't it isn't fair to say people are thinner skinned in it's general. A, it's a watered version of. It's not even a darker. It's a humor. darker humor, That's but also. Down, yeah, yeah like, cause there are some really weird jokes out there now. There's yeah. both. Oh yeah. Like it's weird because all different all these different types of humor have evolved in a way that's really strange. Like the epic memes, haha, <laughs> funny have become, like, this weird amalgam of, like, 20 different memes in a row. And you'll see, like, Harambe tackling Thanos and, like, uh, I like that uh, a Markiplier lot. E, like, the Farquad meme, is just, like, watching in the background, like, giving a thumbs up. And that'll be, like, all over Instagram for, like, three months. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, remix of that. Like, that doesn't make any sense to anyone. That's not funny. Mm -hmm. people be like <laughs> and they'll send it to their friends or like you know like to do the thing where like you breathe a little bit harder through your nose like because you're scrolling through instagram and you see the oh, funny yeah, go, like yeah. like that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. and then like you you send it to somebody and you keep scrolling but then dark humor has also evolved in a really weird way the funny thing to do now is not say haha i kill grandmas isn't that funny now the funny thing to do is like go into sewer eat a pickle and then like have someone scream the n-word oh you know what i'm saying like that's like get that'll get you a lot of views you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and it's really strange because that would have that kind of video would have been around like 2008 it'd be like okay this makes me uncomfortable like, right <laughs> that would be the kind of video you would see on in 2010 youtube and it would be like looks like i'm on the weird side of youtube again you know those kind of comments uh, I received two questions for our podcast. One you know one. what that means? It's time to move on from this lame. <laughs> it's time for the question segment. So the first question is pretty basic. Okay, what's our first question, and who is it from? Uh, this is from Gabby. It's one of my friends. Gabby. Uh, her name is. Thank actually... you, Gabby. Welcome to the show. Her name is actually Nicole, but uh, you really uh, have to put her on blast. Is... Yeah, yeah. Uh, she called herself Gabby though. Okay. Uh. She says, if you can travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, anywhere in the world? Yeah. I'd probably go to Hawaii. Interesting. I like that. I don't know. Um, it just seems fun. Anywhere in... Do I have like a... Is it a one-way ticket or... Probably not. Can I go back home? Probably. All right. I go to Hawaii. I... Uh... And I would not do anything bad. Like, I just like have fun. Because like, if you... Fun? Just have fun. Like, I wouldn't do... I wouldn't do surfing. I'd be scared of surfing. Um, I probably wouldn't drink too much. Especially if I'm there solo. Uh-huh. And definitely wouldn't do anything involving uh, anything, like, spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, no, like, oh, dude, this is, like, ancient rocks, bro. If you touch these rocks and you think about the wrong thing, you die instantly. Like, I would not touch any of that. Interesting. Like, don't do that, because you'll die. See, I don't know, um, that kind of stuff is always weird to me, because I don't know if I fully believe in, like, like, all the spiritualism stuff, like, but it, it definitely is real. It definitely, ob absolutely is real. It's gotta oh, be. Oh, for sure. But I don't know if I fully believe in it. Uh, but I, I got, I, I think it, I like, do. there's so many things that are. I think I do. I think I do, too, but I also am, like, maybe not, but it's, like, the, the world would be kind of boring if, like, everything was just, like, well, nothing fun is real. 
Uh, there's no fun spiritual stuff. Uh, you can't get cursed by a ghost. And everything that you think is uh, scary is just you're insane. And you're hallucinating. And you, that's it. Like, that would be boring and I, I would hate it. I, I believe in a lot of weird things. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I derailed us. Go ahead and answer your version of the question. Uh, so, I mean, uh, <clears throat> hello, I'm Gabby. Uh, Nicole, if you could go anywhere in the world instantly, where would you go? Uh, I'd probably go somewhere in Asia. Asia? That's very interesting. Would you care to elaborate? No. Okay. Thanks for your time. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the next question? Uh, next question. Uh, I don't know if you want to answer this one, but how will Endgame play out? Avengers Endgame? Prediction? Yeah. Prediction, I guess. Avengers colon... Endgame? Yeah. Or is it semicolon? It's semicolon. No, there, she didn't mention it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Avengers Endgame. I think what will happen is Thanos... Yeah? Thanos will have uh, a sec. He'll create a second Infinity Gauntlet called the Finite, finite Gauntlet. It's okay. It's just it has one ability and it's to be a gauntlet. And that's all it is. I like that. Um, he will then put it on eBay uh, and he'll, uh, he'll have his friend... You know the guy... Uh, oh, he died. The guy from uh, from Infinity War, like the guy with the big staff, you know, he he kept stabbing uh, Vision. Remember that guy? What oh was his yeah. Name? yeah. Like re sp- that because I was uh, responding to uh, text. <laughs> uh, put it on eBay mm-hmm. and have his friend like bid on it. Oh yeah. To raise the price a little bit, and but then, then he'll ship it out. Like, like you know. what? What type of currency would it be? Dollars. American? Sure. Okay. I don't know what other dollars there are, because every currency is so different. So we have a few it. more questions. I'm not done! Oh, I thought and you were. And then after it gets you shipped out. You just said you were talking about the money. I figured you were done. No, <laughs> you made me talk about the money. No, I didn't. Shut up. All right. So it gets shipped out, right? Mm-hmm. Tony Stark buys it, Tony right? Stank. So Tony Stark gets the Tony glove. Tony Stank. Tony Stank gets the gauntlet, mm-hmm. and he uses it. Uh, to revive everyone. I don't know how. It just happens. Sure. Because he, because he, Daniel shipped the wrong gauntlet. That's what, okay, so he ships yeah. the wrong gauntlet. Then uh, Tony Stark, he snaps his fingers and he revives everybody. Uh, and then Daniel's dies instantly. And that's how the event, end game is going to play out. And I guarantee you it's going to be true. You can come back to this in like six months when it comes out and be like, wow. You mean one month? One Singular? month. Okay, okay, sorry. All right, what's the next question? Uh, what did you think of the Umbrella Academy? Who was that from? Adrian. Adrian, thank oh, you, Adrian. One of my friends. Also one of your... No, this is your enemy. This is one of your enemies. You can't say that because she listens. Oh, true. This is one of your friends. <laughs> one of my best friends. One of your bestest buds. Uh, okay, okay, I guess so. back, to, back to the topic of TV shows that are really good. I completely... Umbrella like, Academy is Umbrella Academy jammer. is amazing. A big, big, big boy. Uh, It's really good. Um, I thought it was good. I, have a, I had a couple problems with it. Like, um, I thought it was a little bit... Well, maybe this is just me. But I feel like it was crazy how often nobody listened to each other in that show. It happens a lot in a lot of shows. I kind of hate like that, though. Like, it's a very annoying. Too yeah. many shows base the entire problem of the show around nobody talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not how human beings work. Not really. At some point, somebody's going to be like, hey, idiot, I got to tell you 17 minutes worth of stuff. I'm going to rant to you. That's something that happens in real life. <laughs> right. Okay? Nobody's like, ugh. I didn't get to tell him uh, that the world's going to explode in three seconds unless he gives me a burrito. Oh, well. Like, that's not how... That's not... No. Yeah. I but know, otherwise, I, might... I really liked it. It was really good. I thought all the actors were fantastic. Oh, for sure. Um, for those of you who are listening and don't know what we're talking about, Umbrella Academy is like superheroes if they all Netflix hate each original. other. Netflix original. Netflix original based on the comic book by Gerard Way. Go check it out. It's very good. Very I don't know. Good. I might be a little bit biased because Because you love fact... Gerard Way. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I just kind of I don't really have any problems with it. Besides what you said and the fact, I don't, I don't like the whole Luther Allison thing. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's really a spoiler because you can see it like kind of in the first, I feel like the first, episode. first episode. I don't, eh, who cares? I don't, I don't know, it's, it's just, stupid. I hate it, but whatever. I'm not really going to go into detail, but I just don't really uh, support it, I guess. All right, next question. Next question. Um, well, it's not really a question, but we were talking about it earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, also from Adrian, uh, she says, okay, I don't know if y'all did anything on aliens. Aliens? We were talking about, like, believing in weird stuff. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Aliens are weird. Because, like, there's no possible way. That there are... That that we are the only intelligent life in the universe. Like, there's no possible millions way. Millions and millions of planets. Millions of years. Billions of planets. Yeah. Infinite levels of space-time. There's got to be someone out there. Yeah. With a big A. Lamau head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's just, like... Him and his buddies are, like... Just watching YouTube or something, like we should go to Earth or something, man. Like, they just they haven't gotten around to it. I like, just too don't. Lazy. I don't believe that there is nothing else with us. What? I don't believe that. So what are you saying? You're double negativing, so you do believe there's something. Yeah, I don't. Believe... I don't believe there's nothing else, so you yeah. believe there's something else. You yeah. could have said that, <laughs> okay. and it would have been twelve thousand times easier to understand. Rewind, cut that nope. out. Nope. You have to. <laughs> I believe that there is definitely something else. Because there's no possible way that there isn't. Okay. Thank you, Adrian, for your question. There she has more. Okay. <laughs> you get one more question, Adrian. Okay, Google the death triangle. What's hold on. Why did she <laughs> Pick one, pick one. So she sent the picture of the death triangle and I didn't even have to Google it. Okay, Google the death triangle. Where it's in the middle of the ocean and, like, everything gets lost there. Oh, the Bermuda it, Triangle. Yeah, that's what she's talking about, but she just explained it really Why'd well. Why did she call it the Death Triangle? <laughs> I don't know. All right, Adrian, listen. <laughs> I think you're incorrect a little bit. She also has some other questions, but I'm not going to read those because I don't feel like it. <laughs> okay, so uh, what do I think about the Bermuda Triangle? Yeah. I think it's really weird, and it's probably very much proof that there's some kind of... Okay, so actually I was talking to a uh, mom about this earlier. I think I have, like, a theory a theory that the Bermuda Triangle might include the Garden of Eden. You think so? I think so. That could possibly be... I don't know. I mean, a, Okay. If you've read the Bible. I haven't. Listen, but, I've, I keep up on my Bible lore, you know? I, uh, I update the Bible wiki pretty often. It, I don't know, dude. Um, it could be a million things. It could be Garden of Eden. It could be alien technology. I mean... Could be Area Fifty Two. That is true. It could be anything. We don't know. It could be some kind of time travel square. That too. That they decide to make a triangle. I mean, you don't even know if it is a triangle. It's just. It could ocean. be a hole in the Earth that just like sucks up whatever's yeah. there. Yeah. It could be a, a portal to a different dimension. Speaking of. It could be like. Weird things. Like anyway. an epic little like. VR cube. You know what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. You gotta be in VR to check it out. Um, also, Gabby has another question. Last question. Last question. Uh, weirdest thing a person has said to you? Weirdest thing a person has said to me? They didn't say anything to me, but one time somebody tried to... I think he tried to trade me a lollipop for a two liter of soda. Okay. So I was walking I home from the this. store, and this guy walked up to me. Like, I was walking home, right? I was on the street, like, right outside the house. He pulls out a lollipop, like a, I think, I don't know what it was, whatever, it doesn't matter to the story. He pulls out a lollipop and he's like, eh? Like, he doesn't say anything, he's just like showing it to me, like, yeah, get it? Like, eh? I had a two liter soda in my hand, so I was like, what? So he puts it away, he's like, okay, I guess this guy doesn't care. Try to give me, a, like, a dollar bill. And I was like, what? I don't understand. And he's like, ugh, never mind. And he leaves. That's okay. it, that's I never saw him again. I don't think that man even lives here. But he just happened to be interested in trading me a lollipop for a two liter bottle of soda. And I don't really, I like that. I don't know if he was trying to do a magic trick or something, but that was it. That was I it. don't think I really have an answer for that. You don't have an answer for that? That's no. fair. All right, that was our question segment. Now it's time to move on. Meow, meow. Look out, guys. We're on the highway. The hypothetical highway. It's time for some hypotheticals. Are you ready okay. for your first hypothetical question? Sure. All right. Let's say you're baking a cake. Mm-hmm. All right. You got all the ingredients. You got your mixed ingredients over here. You got your dry ingredients over here. Two different bowls, right? One's all wet because it's the wet ingredients. One's all dry because it's the dry ingredients. You go get to get your eggs. Oh, let me get my eggs out. You crack an egg on the side of the bowl. You put it into your dry ingredients. Instead of an egg yolk, a little man comes out. Like a, like a, a businessman comes out. He rolls out like of the Like a boss, egg. maybe? Or like, no, a, like a, a man. fully grown man? He's a fully grown man the size of an egg yolk. Okay. He tumbles out of the egg. Is he like... Is he round or... He's a man like size. A skinny... He's man. He's just man. Okay. 
He is normal businessman. He has short brown hair, regular suit. He tumbles out of the egg into the dust. How tall is he? For in in yolk form? He is like ant, probably. No, like two ants stacked on top of each other is how tall he is. Okay. Right? So he tumbles out. He has a briefcase in hand. He's all dusty because of the dusty ingredients. He dusts himself. He dusts himself off. He says, <clears throat> "Oh, sorry, ma'am. I'll just get out of your hair and away. Let me let me just call an Uber." What would you do? Does the Uber come? Do you wait for the Uber? Yes. Okay, a tiny Uber comes. Oh, that's cute. And and then the guy says, "Hey, are you Egg Egbert?" <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, "Yes, that's me." And they drive away. Do you? That's it. That's it. Yeah, they drive away through a little hole in the floor. Um, I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think I would I would probably pay for his Uber. You probably pay for his Uber. Yeah. With your huge money, how would you do it? <laughs> I'd like rip up a little piece of it because that's probably the kind of money he uses. I'd ask him first. Well, he has cryptocurrency, so you don't know. Well, then I'd pay him in cryptocurrency. You don't have any Bitcoin. Yeah, well, I'll Venmo make him. <laughs> yeah. I'll Venmo him. <laughs> exactly. Uh. PayPal? All right. Let's try another hypothetical question. Sure. Let's say you're on a yacht. A yacht. A yacht. Yacht. And you um, are on the ocean, right? Okay. As one does with a yacht. Yeah. <laughs> you're just living it out, up, 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 like you're just really just j- jamming out, vibing out, right? Uh-huh. Just like Andy Samberg. Just like really just like into it. Do you get that? Got your buds you out the there. Joke? Yes, I get the joke. <laughs> you get the joke? I never heard of Andy Samberg <laughs> from Saturday Night Live with his little funny music that he makes, his funny haha music. Yeah. Where he says he's on a boat. Yeah. I've never heard of that before, ever in my life. So, you're on this yacht, right? And just like Andy Samberg. Just like Andy Samberg. I've never heard of this man that you're talking about, but I'm sure he's hilarious and really funny. And he's got curly hair or something. Or something. Or something like that. I don't know. Like, it possibly it could be a thing. Mm-hmm. So, let's just say, in this hypothetical, let's just is, pretend. Is Andy Samberg on the boat with me? No. Okay. Let's just pretend that he exists in this universe. I don't know who he is. Let's just pretend but he's he also not on the boat. Let's just pretend he happens to have made a song called I'm on a Boat. And you just happen to be listening to that song. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard it before. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I've never heard I'm on a Boat. By the Lonely Island from Saturday Night Live. I've never heard the song before. However, you are listening to this song on your yacht. And you decide to yourself, hey, what if I make an omelet? So you're making your omelet, right? Okay. And out of nowhere, a little mermaid, not the little mermaid, but a little mermaid, okay. swims up to your yacht and says, hey. It is... I have a very important question. Go ahead. Is the Little Mermaid Andy Samberg? Yeah, okay, yes. The Little Mermaid Andy Samberg shows up. Yeah. And he says to you, can I be on your boat? What do you do? Keep in mind, he has shells on his chest, you know, like Ariel does have to keep herself decent. But he does not need them. He just has them on. He also has leg of fish, fish legs. What do you do? I say, yes, Andy Samberg, you can do anything you want. Okay, he's on the boat with you now, I guess. Okay, this is a stupid segment. <laughs> yeah. I like it in theory, but it's not very good. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode of Topic Change, found probably on uh, iTunes or maybe on YouTube or maybe even on Podbean for those funny guys out there, be sure to like us on every one of those platforms. And subscribe on Subscribe every- on every one of those platforms. You cannot only subscribe to one, you have to subscribe to all three. Uh, it's part of the rules. If you look it up, uh, it's on the rules right there. It says it on the rules. Uh, don't 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 Google it actually because I forgot to put it up on the. Rule. It's on our Wikipedia. Yeah. So. Um, uh, famousbirthdays.com. Mhm. Slash topic change. Yeah, that's very true. It says it in there. If you feel so inclined. We also have a Twitter. To follow. Twitter.com slash. Uh, this is the real TC. Yeah, that is. At it. this is the real TC. That's our. T- <laughs> at. That's our at. <laughs> I'm so on. tired. Go back. Go back. Go back. You can follow us on Twitter at, at the real. This is the real TC. You can send us an email at offcial, o f f c i a l, t c, at yahoo.com. Uh, please send us any questions you might have. We can answer next time. Uh, if you have any hypotheticals, 
We'll that be sure to also, use them yeah. in the next episode of Time Exchange. If we ever make one. We will. We will make next one. Week, next will week, there will be another Next week, we'll episode. definitely make one, you epic boys and girls. Uh, we're going to try to keep a schedule this time. If we don't, I don't know. I don't know. And Mark- Most of all. Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> what about him? Go ahead. <laughs> Contact him, please. Contact him, please. Please help us. We need his love. You know who else we need to talk to? Chills. You know who else we need to talk to? Jack Black. Jackie Blackie. Don't say it like that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. Jack Black would be an excellent person to have on the show as well. That's three people we need. Uh, Maybe we'll get them soon. All right, that does it for this week. The week of March. March. 26th, 2.38 a.m. Now you guys know. Exactly what's happening. See you guys later, gamers. Good night. Good night. And have a pleasant tomorrow. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs>